You cannot box with this guy. What are you doing? Get out. You can't. Get out! Marks. Hey, what's going on, sir? Yeah, how you doing? Okay. Not a problem. What time do you need to see everybody? 1300 tomorrow at the team room? Not a problem, sir. I will get everybody together and... No, I, I haven't talked to Mike. Probably about um, eight months or so since he was dismissed. Why? I mean, sir, I can just grab Bailey or Robinson. Both those guys are just back up and they had... Uh, sir, actually, as far as I know, I don't, I don't even think Mike has his calls. Sir, with all due respect, I think that that will... Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I understand. I will have everybody there, Mike included, at 1300 tomorrow. Roger that. to communicate with your prime minister. Explain to him that now I'm in control. The prime minister will not negotiate with you. But if you let my family go, you can do whatever you want with me. Okay, my sweet. I am no fool. You are too important to the government. Bloody. I will kill this man, I swear! You sick bastard, I'd have pop you right now. Bloody! Marco! It's little brother Marco, how about that? I will kill this man, I will kill him! How about I pop him instead of you, what do you think of that? I think we should let him go. What? Bloody. You know how this is gonna end. Let's do something else, okay? There's an exit right behind you. You give us back the hostages, we give you back your brother, you walk out of here and no one dies. Deal? It's a bullshit deal. No, our mission was to come in here and rescue the hostages. We can kill these guys any day. Let them go off and kill more innocent people? The only way you deal with this is by force. It's the only thing they understand. So please don't think it would- Stand down, that's in order. Let him go or your little brother dies. Let Marco go first.
Hey, good job, Meredith. I think I popped that one right in the head. <laughs> oh, I won't have to worry about those goddamn punks anymore, right? I'll be like Charles Bronson. Make my day, motherfucker. Okay, really wish you didn't hear that, but that's all right. You're getting a lot better, though. You hit the paper this time. Am I ready to go on to the machine guns now? Or, the, or those AK-47 thingies? We hit in the paper. That's a good start. Yeah, so right, how about right? we just uh, stick with this guy a little bit longer? Oh, and okay. Then, uh... Okay. Yeah, then we'll talk about moving up to a chain gun. All right, okay. okay I don't want to get too cocky. Yes, get it, cocky? That's, good. <laughs> that's a little pun there. Yeah. Mike, you gonna walk in? Yeah, I'm busy. Give it to one of the other guys? Yes, for you, specifically. Scope if you want to hit that. Yeah, maybe. You got one in that desk you've been hiding behind? That was Angie and the kids. Carly just lost her first tooth. Trevor finally got off his training wheels, and Angie. Well, Angie actually just had lunch with Beth last week. How's she doing? Shit, I don't know, bro. Why don't you ask her? She's your wife. I'm not alienating any person. Hey, Mike. You should have listened to me. I made a call. No, Mike. That wasn't a call. That was a reaction. You're a hothead, bro. Always have been. Just like Dad. Hey, you and me did it. This is... Yeah, because just like Dad, you got a guy killed. Avery's putting an op together and he wants you on my team. Yeah, well, I'm out now. Yeah, well, they're reinstating you. Op reach at 1300. Make sure you're there. And that's in order. You're a hothead, bro. Always have been. Just like Dad. You want to breathe hey, and, yeah. And just like Dad, you got a man killed. I understand the phrase of uh, love at first sight, but all I'm saying is, how you even know this girl's real? I mean, uh, you got one picture. He's real. Hey, LT, you ever get a look at Thorpe's alleged Lithuanian girlfriend? She's Latvian. She's not my girlfriend. You trying to tell me that you ain't made a move yet? When the time is right. So let me get this straight. You're seeing some commie girl from bumfuck wherever that you think is real based off of one picture. And you haven't even had the little balls to make a move yet? When the time is right. I feel for you, Thorpe. I really do. You know, I think you might be the first Navy SEAL in history to die a virgin. 
I mean, unless, of course, women ain't really a thing, in which case, Navy's actually pretty inclusive nowadays. That's right. I mean, you're always checking me out when I'm working out. That's all I'm saying. But, uh, guess I can't blame you for that. You know your protein shakes are loaded with saccharin. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, no. Artificial sweeteners are no joke. I mean, those compounds are highly addictive. When rats were given a choice, they chose artificial sweeteners over cocaine. Actual cocaine. Also, That's about right. As a medical professional, you should be more mindful of your health. This stupid blender's all janky. Bullshit-ass online reviews. LT, what's this gig about? What's with all the secrecy? Need to know. Yeah, well, that's a bunch of bullshit, man. I'm getting sick and tired of all these little CIA stiffs coming through without one ball between them to hold up a joystick, trying to tell us what to do. Like, we don't know our jobs is... <clears throat> Chris? Sir, we were told 1,300. These gentlemen wanted to see where you work. Agent Maddox, this is Lieutenant Marks, one of our finest. Gents, this is Agent Maddox and Agent Reed. They'll be going over your briefing. Which agency? CIA, NSA? Take a seat, General. Chris? Excuse me. Agent, I appreciate it if you don't touch that. Chris? This comes from Topside, from POTUS himself. It's supposed to be four. Chris, where's your brother? I honestly doubt he'll show, sir. Why don't we just bring in somebody else, like um, Robinson or Bailey? No. I know your brother as well as I know you, and he's not one to sit on the sidelines when his number's been called. With all due respect, sir, Mike's just not the man that you remember. He's right. I think I gained a few pounds. <laughs> hey, Thorpe. All right, everybody. Hey, you leave your walker outside, old man? There's that Jonesy charm. <laughs> Commander. Good to see you, Mike. All right, everyone, settle and listen up. I'm going to hand this meeting over to these gentlemen. Agents, these men are my finest. You know their work. United States Navy SEALs, the cream of the crop. I'm expecting they'll be returned to me in the same condition they were received. Here's what we know. What you're looking at is a top secret US base that's located in the forests of the Caucasus. The base closed after the Cold War. Three months after that, our intelligence team moved in and resumed operations of a top secret nature. That region's tiny. I know we moved back in. That's why it's top secret. <laughs> Shut up, Jonesy. Are we finished? Hey, button up, morons. The base went dark. There's been no contact with anyone in the building for the past 12 hours. We need to know why. Couldn't they have just been overtaken by some sort of hostile force? Not likely. This is the feed from our drone. We had over 100 scientists, engineers, and a security team working in and around that building. This image was taken at 1,436 minutes. This image at 1,437 minutes. Where'd they go? So you're saying that in just over one minute, a hundred people vanished? That is exactly what I'm saying. Maybe they just, like, ran off a Thirsty Thursday or some shit, you know? I mean, I heard that the bar girls over that way can be real spicy. Maybe you should take this shit a little more seriously. Petty Officer Jones, or as your meathead friends like to call you, Jonesy. Two counts of insubordination. Negative marks for inappropriate conduct yeah and also the best patch-up record in this history of the seal teams so trust me when you're out in the field getting your ass shot off you want jonesy by your side i mean assuming that you actually like go in the field sometimes <laughs> all right assholes listen up when i spoke with the president personally he recommended this team for the job i told him you beer guzzling dumbbell pushing trash talking ingrates weren't qualified i wanted to send professionals he chose you. You know, that might have something to do with the fact that we saved his daughter's life just two years ago. I don't give a flying shit. I just want to find out what happened at that base. 
What were they working on? The top secret facility in some obscure location, so where are they hiding? Weapons tech, legal research, what? It's classified, but we want you to secure that too. Okay, so you want us to go into a classified compound built for a classified purpose, obtain your classified little toy before it vaporizes more people into classified thin air? That's right. Commander, this is bullshit. Hey, so if we don't even know what it is, how do we know when we find it? If you find it, you'll know. Studying the terrain? Wasn't it you that always used to say you can't really know terrain until you're standing in it? There's a lot more that's unknown here than just the terrain. This whole op's one big blind spot. There's a lot more that they're not telling us. Oh, shit. But, hey, that's the job, man. The job is to complete the mission and get everyone home safe. It's a lot harder to do that when you're given partial intel. Christ, you want to know that? Okay, listen up, dude. There's one thing that we are gonna get straight right now before we step outside. This is my team, Michael. You understand? I don't give a shit how much history you have with the guys. I'm not gonna have you dicking up this chain of command. And you're gonna keep that temper in check. Copy? Copy. LT. Good. Suit up. stay on this heading. I want you two to circle around, come in from the west, and hold up on the perimeter. Copy that. Yeah. You good? Yeah, you good? You pull your head out of your ass. I need you here, dude. What's that? Chris being on ILT. Mike on our level. Well, nobody's on my level. But you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess. You don't have an opinion? I don't know. I think they both got their points. I'm more worried about whatever they got in this facility. The government's always hiding shit. Hey, you do know that you work for the government, right? This is different. Conspiracy blogs are always talking about dark science. Virus engineering, particle splitting. Just being creative here, gum that never loses its flavor. Actually, you know the people who used to live here in Vanagum? They would collect the resin produced from the tree. So, yo, please do not do this right now, man. On. I don't want to hear you. Useless That trivia resin facts. called chicle can still be found in gum today. Where the name chicle come from? We need to get laid, man. Ridiculous to insert in daylight. Well, when the POTUS says go, we go. So I'm thinking we breach the two by pattern, give those knuckleheads some cover. Looks like when we get there. Sign says it was a perfume factory. The only thing I smell is bullshit. Do you hear that? 
No, I don't hear anything. Exactly. That's what had me so spooked earlier. There's no animals, there's no birds, not even a goddamn mosquito. If there was anything alive in this jungle, it's gone now. So you refer to your weakness, psyche valve, will you? Jonesy, Thorpe, what's your 20? Holding at the perimeter LT. Give me eyes. Yeah, we're alone. Copy. All right, gentlemen. We're going in the front. I got eyes on what looks like some sort of lobby in there. Going in the front? Yeah, we're going in the front. That's rookie shit. Go to the rear entrance. Are you shitting me right now? Shitting. Knock it off, Mike. Knock it off. Mike, the cops are bitching in our Hate it when Mike. mommy and daddy fight. Mike. This is my mission. We're running up my way. You don't like that, you can take your happy ass home. I warned you about this shit. Like I said, gentlemen, we're going in the front. I want heads low and frosty. Come on. That's to you, princess. Check the Geiger. Slightly above normal, slightly below, your dick's gonna fall off. It's safe. Thorpe, ring the bell. scientist negative the CIA guys weren't kidding yeah we're still not buying it though I mean a hundred scientists don't just up and disappear there must be a panic room in the basement someplace where they went hiding all in 60 seconds look at this security doors vents too looks like magnesium alloy plating don't stop an army from getting in here. Yep. Except that whatever happened happened so fast they didn't even have a chance to seal the doors. Or before they can get off a single round. It's absolutely no signs of engagement. Maybe we're thinking about this all wrong. Maybe what happened here didn't spill in from the outside. Maybe it all went bad from within. Let's continue this lead, guys. Jonesy, Thorpe, you take a left. Mikey and I are gonna go right. Give me the play-by-play. -play. So what do your conspiracy blogs make of all this shit? I don't know. I ain't never heard of nothing like this. Yeah, well, I think those CIA spooks set us up. I saw nothing to kill terrorists, man, not ghosts. Man, you can't kill ghosts. They're already dead. 12 o'clock. What the hell is that? Looks like ashes. Hmm. Hmm? What do you mean, hmm? You act like you know what's going on. Unless you're not offering some random ass piles of ash moving in your neighborhood. Yeah, copy that, Jonesy. It's a mess over here, too. Let me check it out. Dead. 
vanished instantaneously, right? Stay frosty. Let's go check out the back. God damn. What the hell is all this? Looks like some kind of code. Maybe they were code crackers like in that movie. Code crackers. Code crackers? They say no code. It's a language. Clear left. Clear right. Do you smell something? Yeah, it's like. like bacon? Copy that, Jersey. I need you guys in the northeast sector right now. We are not alone. We're U.S. Navy SEALs. God damn it! We have a tango in the North Wing. I repeat, we have a tango in the North Wing. Stop! Hey, stop! Great teamwork, guys. Yeah, we'll mark you down for the assist on this one. Get the mask. Hey, relax. Something harmful in the air. We already checked. Except for Thorpe's breath. What's your name? Isabella. What? Isabella. Isabella Fajera. Running it. What do you do here, Isabella? Is it so? English, please. Research soil sample, but it doesn't matter now. Jonesy. Isabella, this is Jonesy. He is an awesome medic. He's gonna check you out, make sure you're all healthy and everything, okay? Hey, Isabella, I'm gonna need you to look into this. Why'd you run from us? You had guns. You didn't think that maybe we were actually here to rescue you? You want me to stop and ask questions? Guys! Isabella, deep breath. I thought you were something else. Good. Good. She's all right, LT. Something else like what? A mop-up crew. Whatever those people stand into, contain situations. So exactly what kind of situation are you containing here? What do they tell about this place? Is that the people here were working on a classified project. A classified project. And that's it? Caralho, who told me? Hey, you want to tell me more? All right, all right. Isabella. Hey, look at me. What happened here? Where did all your people go? You're really not gonna kill me. No. I'll show you.
What? How old is this place? I don't know. The team moved into here three months ago. What happened three months ago? The discovery. Damn. Nice crib. So, this is the remodeled wing. See. Three stars on the ground. I'm assuming this basement's lead lined. Blocking ground penetrating radar. Dark lab. What are you trying so hard to hide down here? What the hell kind of place is this? If I show you this, I can go to prison for the rest of my life. This is a high security containment vault. Nothing can get in or out once locked down. So what is it? We must always withhold assumption on the makeup or purpose of the device. Withhold assumptions? So, in other words, you don't fucking know? No. But you guys built it, right? We found it two kilometers away in the dirt. Dr. Ryza moved it here to minimize our impact. Okay, so if you moved it here, then where did it come from? We must always hold assumption on the origin of... We don't know that either. Okay, so we don't know what it is, we don't know where it came from, but you've been sitting here staring at it for months, and in all that time, what'd you figure out? It has a language, but we can't read it. And the material composition is not periodical or even terrestrial. Oh, can you say that again and build nine level science, please? She's saying it's not from Earth. She's saying it landed here from up there. That's just a theory. Oh, so this place is like some kind of dusty fuck Area 52? That's why they had to stabilize this region months ago. They wanted exclusive rights to study it. Right, okay, so let's stay on the things that we actually know here for true, huh, Mike? So you still haven't explained to us how you survived this whole thing? I was in the Faraday room. The fairy what now? You're kidding. Michael Faraday, 1800s? I'm sorry, Tiger, but I missed Jeopardy with Grandma last week. A clean room, it blocks electromagnetic fields. That's why I survived. Survived what? The CIA was shutting us down. They never told us why, but we had only 20 minutes to vacate the building. I just wanted to save my soil samples from the Faraday room. Just lucky. Oh, this is so above my pay grade. It makes sense. Extraterrestrials would engage in countermeasures. Countermeasures? Man, I'm not ending up in no dust. Hey! 
We are not going to start talking all crazy about this thing. You get it? There's nothing crazy about this LP. There have been multiple counts of oh. unidentified flight objects named Freeze. after Roswell. Whoa. That's what that has to do. Theory is just a theory. I'm just saying. Thorpe, I'm just saying we might be sitting on living proof of life in our universe right here. That's why those CIA spooks was acting so spooky. Man, I knew I had a bad feeling about this gig right from the beginning. That's right. I knew it. That's right. Because it's alien. Hey! Everybody chill. Jonesy Thorpe, sip it. Right now we need to... Listen to what our LT has to say. All right, guys, I get it. Pucker Factor's high right now. Well, we've got a mission to do, all right? Thorpe, I want you to get up on that roof and get some sort of communication back to HQ. Tell them that we got her, and we've got that damn thing, and we are ready for extract. You can't get a signal this jammer in the roof. Don't even worry about it. He's some sort of damn techno wizard. Now, the rest of us are going to get this thing prepped and ready for evac. What? You crazy? You want us to move it? Yeah. That's our mission. <laughs> Not ending up no ash pile. That's all I'm saying. Give it a rest, Jonesy. You're making us look bad. all this honestly bro i don't even know i'm still trying to wrap my whole mind around this thing yeah it's fine just don't let the guys see you sweat i'm not sweating mike and i sure as shit don't need you telling me how to run this team yeah you clearly I got don't it. yeah you got this right lt thorpe over what you got thorpe well she was right they blocked any long-range signal in or out radio sat phone it's quiet as Western Front. OK, so is that good news? It's a standard DSM. I can reboot the system from here. No, wait a minute. What if they jam the system for a reason? No, dude, we got to get comms back there. I understand that, but we need to think for a second here. Did you just tell me to think for a second? That's fucking yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that is, hey, douchebag. All right, no, why did, why did they put it in the single chair? Like, hey, hey but they had to tell you something. There's going to be reckless here somewhere. Hey, you know something else? It's doing something. Thorpe, stand by. I don't think that jammer was meant for us. There's another signal, and it's more complex than ours, and according to telemetry, it's, it's coming from the device. I think something's falling home. UAV's picking up a bogey. We got company. Is it a plane like one of our guys? They said no backup. And this country doesn't even have an air force. No, it's not a fighter. It's something else. Something big. All right, let's see the feet. Rotating camera. What do you got, Mike? It's nothing. Literally nothing. Well, it's got to be something, man. It's not here, man. You want to talk to yourself? What the hell is going on? Hey, Thorpe, what do you got up there? Is it a plane or something, dude? Thorpe? Thorpe? Sweet mother of... Oh, shit! Mike, you're with me. Jonesy, keep an eye on that thing. If it does anything weird at all, I want to know about it. Weird? Are you kidding me? Shut up to every fly! Don't worry. Professional. The drone. You know, it looks like somebody shot it down. No, I wouldn't shot it down.
Didn't run out of fuel either. I think it hit something. Be ready for anything, guys. See anything? Nothing. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Right now, they're correcting their range. Hey, Thorpe, do you see where that indirect is coming from? I hear you, LT, but I don't see shit up here. Well, they're gonna hit us again, so be watching for it. Copy. Wait, it got me! They still don't have our range. I think they got a 51 spot for them. Hey, you think they get a little better? Yeah. What in God's name? Maybe, maybe they're paratroopers? I don't see any parachutes. We need rules of engagement. No, we need Mike. All right, listen up, guys. Nobody fires on these people unless directly fired upon. You hear me? We have no idea if these are actually hostile. They took out a drone. I said, let's blast them. Copy that. Got them in my sights waiting on your go. Chris? Restricted area. Take your men and leave now. This is a restricted area. Take your men and leave now. This is your last warning. Leave now, or we will open fire. What are we doing, Chris? Jonesy, nestle up. I think we're ready for a fight here. Shit, they're scanning us. I'm not gonna leave my boys up there to die. Josie, come in! Mike, sounds like the goddamn 4th of July up there. I don't have time to explain! We need to initiate a lockdown! Hi, no! That will lock us in here! You keep them up there! Look, I don't know the protocol for a lockdown, man. Know that, but she does! Lobby, access panel, but you need this. Okay. Hold down the fort, Jonesy's coming. Do you know how to use one of these? Take these off. Don't put your finger on the trigger unless you're gonna shoot. Don't point at anything unless you're gonna shoot. And do both if you see any little green men. Jim, Jonesy! Jonesy! Squeeze the trigger, don't pull. Hey, yeah. Back out! These dudes aren't gonna hold for long, man. Jonesy, the hell are you? Tell you something. I don't be getting all sentimental on me, bro. This is important. I got the car to lock the door! Josie, take cover! Uh. <laughs> Josie, throw the card over! Okay. 
told you it was aliens. Baby, you're alive. All right, guys. I'm at fifty percent ammo. I want to count from all of you ASAP. You mean the ammo that can disappear? Listen, as far as we're concerned, we have four hostiles upstairs. I don't give a shit if they are from Mars or Missouri or wherever. All right? Hey, can you hack us into the security feed? I want to track these bastards' movements. Take five minutes. Track them. That's their move. What do you want to track their movements for? We know what they want. They're after that thing. Look, I say we roll it out to them. For all we know, that thing's a goddamn alien atom bomb. Mike, what do you think we should do? Hey, when that blast killed your co-workers, it killed all the animals outside too, right? Yes. But it didn't kill the trees. So what's your point, Mike? Yeah, my point is that this thing chooses what it will and will not kill. Okay? I think this whole operation is a part of a whole worldwide operation. They dropped a bomb three months ago, but we get lucky it was a dud. Now they're back to fix the wiring. That's why the CIA told you to leave. They knew the tangles were here, but the signal jammer was keeping it hidden. So we got here. That is complete speculation. It's intelligence. Why else would they be here? If they get their tentacles on this thing, then they can wipe out humanity with the touch of a button and stroll onto their new planet. An invasion. Exactly. An invasion. A vessel like this needs sustenance every three hours. I'm mellowing out. We're dealing with the most existential crisis of the century, and you're making protein shakes. You know, Thor, I like you. I really do. And that's why I'm a teacher. So. Hey. Am I right? We actually keep the lab below room temperature. That's why we wear lab coats. Hmm. I guess I just must be a little more insulated than others. Maybe that's because you're wearing a t-shirt from a teenage boy. What do you think? I'm be over here. Imbecile. Hey. All right, dude, listen. I know that I was a little bit rattled there a little while ago. Yeah, we all got to pick each other up. Sorry. Yeah, but the problem is, Mike, is that then the guys start looking to you for orders. So it's just muscle memory, if anything. No, Mike. Then you started jumping in there and giving them pretty damn fast. Is that muscle memory, dude? Is that them? What did you expect, little green men? No, I expected them to be like us. Evolution is linear, moving in straight lines. Yeah, she's right. It's not surprising they're bipedal. Theoretical extra biology suggests they'd be very similar to us. Yeah, well, there's one thing that's very similar to us. Look at the way they're moving. Tactical, definitely military, at least their version of it. What are they building? What is that? It looks like a shield. Plasma or just concentrated electricity? The barricade keeps us boxed in. How you know? Because that's what we would do. Okay, guys. 
We have four hostels with advanced military training, and the little shitheads have us boxed in. And they have their eyes set on a weapon of mass destruction that'll wipe out planet Earth. In theory? Either way, we need backup. Dude, is there any way that you can get some communication back to HQ? The CIA might know something about these guys. Yeah, I saw a hardliner on the roof. I can use a sat phone, but someone's gonna have to patch a line in their communication. Great. Where's that? Shh. Lobby. Where we just came from. Fantastic. All right. Thorpe, you're our eyes, dude. The rest of us, we're all heading up topside in case that place turns into a shooting gallery again. Who ya? We ya. Let's do it. Gonna go kick me some alien nets. What's this? It's nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. It's a code, isn't it? No. I mean, yes. My degree is in biology, but my hobby is in theoretical language. McFarlane. Cryptography. I know, it's boring stuff. Alphabetic versus pictographic systems. Yes. I have a theory. I believe their language are more than just words. It's emotion, sensations, math, science, astronomy. Perfect language. I just never found the through line. It says here there are more glyphs when it started. Yeah, it could be like a power percentage. Like a battery. Could be a countdown. That's another theory. Clear left. Clear right. All clear. So you guys said that they stopped your bullets, right? Right. So. Why exactly are we bringing our guns? Well, if you want to drop your rifle and continue without it, be my guest. Sound good to you, LT? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we all know how much you corpsmen hate carrying anything heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna remember that next time you two have bullets in your asses. All right. Coming up on the lobby. Clear. Clear. Go. The steel door is intact. They're still outside. Get to it. How do you know what line to plug into anyway? It's a retro system, pre Wi Fi. Should just be one or two telephone wires. <laughs> Terrific. Shit. I thought you said, oh, this is only gonna be like two wires. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, I'm not the one who fell out of computer science. Hey, okay, bro. well, listen up, dude. I, this isn't actually that complicated. Just oh, I bet it way. is. Mike, just jack into the coax. I know how to read an access panel. Man, it's the red wire. It's always the red wire. Jonesy, shut up! LT, got a tangle right outside the security door. Shit. Roger that, man. We are in a freaking kill zone right now. What? What's he doing? Mike, working on it. Actually, sir, I think this one's a she. I don't care if it's wearing high heels and a skirt, okay? All I want to know is what it's doing. LT, she's gone. What do you mean she's gone?
Well, where the hell is she? Got it. Patching in. Get down! Jones, are you alive? Did you kill her? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> hey, easy, Jones, be careful of that thing. Where is she? Where is she? I'm gonna kill her. I don't know, man. You see how fast she moves? Jonesy, talk to me, buddy. We've been breached. Those assholes can teleport. Man, that's some shit of bullshit right there. Is that what I think it is? If you think that it's the alien ray gun from outer space, then yes. Yes, it is. It's beautiful. Jonesy. are fused together. It's toast. So are we. So are we? What do you mean, so are we? He means that we're sitting at less than 10% ammo and that that thing was our only way to call for reinforcements. So without doing that, they're not even going to start looking for us for almost seven hours. Seven hours? We can't survive seven more hours from those things. Like the man said, toast. I can't be you. You do know we can understand that, right? What about that gun? You hit them with their own medicine. Nope. Doesn't work. It's probably linked to their DNA or some lame-ass shit. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. No, we're not. We are United States Navy SEALs. And we don't quit. We never have, we never will. Hey, what's our sit rep right now? Low on ammo, okay? Got tangos with superior firepower, all right? But they are down a barrel. Exactly. They're missing something else, too. A leader. Someone who, when your back is up against the wall, is gonna see you through that shit. And that's our LT. It's my brother. Oh, Chris. Waiting orders. All right. Mikey, did you notice when that laser bolt hit that radio how that thing went absolutely batshit crazy? Yeah, like it got a migraine from hell. So what, you're trying to tell me that they're allergic to foams? Yes. I mean, no. We have been seeing sweats. Electrolocation. Well, what, like bats? No, no, no. Bats use echolocation, that's your sound. Electrolocation is reading electrical stimuli. Dolphins use it to track prey. 
with sharks. They can see electricity. They can even see electricity from inside your body. So you're saying when it tagged that sat phone, its vision was disrupted? More like overstimulated. Just like when somebody blinds with a flashlight. Sounds like a chink in the armor. So we what, just start shooting up all the electronics? Same, but that's not enough. Your boy is gonna need something much bigger than that. You've got an idea? I've got an idea. This beauty's running a backup power, but the main generator is big enough to run the city. So if we fire that thing up, that'll blind him. Exactly, but only for a minute. Oh, that's all the time I'm gonna need to pop the little best. Where's the generator room? That's the bad news. First floor. So someone's gonna have to slip past the hall monitors up there. Wait, I have an idea. Faraday suit. It works like the room. But it's a suit. That would hide the electrical impulses in our bodies. We'd be invisible. Great. So you wouldn't just happen to have, like, four of those lying around, would you? That's a prototype. OK. So let me get this straight, then. One of us dons a suit, slips into the generator room, fires it up, and then when they're all blind, the other guys smoke them. In order for this to work, we need to get all the bastards in one spot. We're going to need to bait them. Start gathering up every piece of electronic you can find. Radios, televisions, toasters, TVs, anything. Absolutely anything with an electronic pulse. Yo, 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 what's the blender, man? Man, that is a Nutri Grinder Plus, and I'm taking it home when we do it all this shit. Look, you can't find a Nutri Grinder Plus no more, Lieutenant. Man, I done looked all up and down eBay. More watts than a house of light bulbs. That thing makes the best protein shakes in the world. Look, I need my protein shakes, OK? But I'm not going to be flexible about this shit. OK. You can have the blender. Thank you. I'm in the suit. And who's gonna lead us? I got this. You got this. You know what? You wear the suit. It's an order. Then the rest of us are gonna get in our positions. Who ya? Who ya? Who ya? Eyes on Tango now. All clear. Roger that. Good luck, boys.
Come on, Thorpe. Until they get the message. Not long. Mike, the trap is set. I repeat, the trap is set. Coming up in the main hallway. Generator room now in sight. Hey, Isabel, I feel like this isn't the generator room. Isabella, big guy's here, and I think he can see me. That's not possible. I know it looks like he's trying to make me out or something. Isabella, he's looking right at me. Stachka. English, please. Static. The suit blocks your electricity. But it's building up static electricity when you walk. You gotta be kidding me. The more you walk, more static electricity he can't see. You have to release the static charge. Well, I'm losing you. Give me something here. Whatever you do, don't touch anything metal. Screw it. for door 186. Right! Any day now, Mike. Cover! I'm running low! Contact left! Isabella, I'm in. I can hear the big guy coming in. That door is three inches of steel. I don't think it's gonna hold. There's no way we can get in. I think I made it. What do I do now? The keys are on the wall. Oh, come on! Come on, run! What are they doing? Why aren't they firing at us? Holy shit. They're draining our ammo. Shit, do electronics. Not the blender! Do not shoot the blender! Trying! 
I'm a Navy SEAL, not a goddamn janitor. I'm a Navy fucking SEAL. Jones, are you good? It's me. Did we get him? Yeah. I think we did. Chris! God damn it! Mike, let's go. Let's go! guys want from me? Hey! What do you want? Tell me! We're going in and hitting with everything we got. We'd be walking into an ambush. Besides, it looks like they want them from... I don't give a shit about that! Chris is gone. I'm in command. I said we hit him with force. It's the only thing they understand. Yo, LT, wait. I really don't know about that, man. I saw their home. What? When she did the teleporting thing, man, I saw... A city. It was. It was shaped like a beach shell. It was. It was peaceful. Beach shell. Yeah. Does it look like this? Exactly like that. Fibonacci sequence. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. What? Fibonacci sequence is a mathematical pattern. It's found everywhere in nature. Shells, DNA, and that thing. I always try to read that language in a straight line. But right in a spiral. And that's your through line. Exactly. What are you doing? The thing is a bomb. I don't think it's a bomb. Found our bargaining chip.
What's up? Oh, just chilling. You? Chilling. Isabella, you're up. Was it a bomb? It's a life pod. Crashed here, they've been looking for it ever since. All right. Listen up, you slimy bastards. You give me my bro, I'll give you your boy. Deal? Mike? I got this. Chop your weapons. It's an order. Fibonacci sequence. Well, what's the call, LT? I'm thinking of beer. Copy that. More and more that I think about it, I think that we need to just stay with the scenario that we plan. 
land on because every time I think of telling them the truth and be like, hey guys, I got abducted, it's like, and I still don't even remember what the hell happened there anyway. Like finding an artifact that ends up being an alien test tube, baby. You know, me putting a suit on to make me invisible. Jonesy warping between worlds. Exactly. Just makes it sound like nut jobs. Exactly. Dude, they're going to pull us off in duty for sure. Now we just say what's exactly what we got. Well, exactly what Thorpe said. Right. We found evidence of heavy engagement with explosives. And there was a down drone there already. Exactly. We found an empty lab. One survivor, research scientist that was already there in the lab. We interrogated her, story checks out. We gave her over for observation. She didn't remember shit. Right. 